We're here at the K-Meek Center, uh, right next door to West Van High School in West Vancouver. We've had a town hall where parents and educators came together to talk about the abuse of prescription drugs and what's going on here in the schools, here in West Vancouver and across the country. Uh, Chris Kennedy, uh, superintendent of the West Van School Board, uh, you were a um, major partner in making this happen. What do you think was the important theme uh, for the evening and what's important to the school district? Uh, I think one thing that came out of tonight was there actually are a lot of resources out there and available, but we got to connect those resources together. And so education is part of that and we have a role to play, but whether it's the police and health and whether it's local resources or provincial resources and federal resources, there needs to be better connections and linkages between those in order for us to move this forward. And you know, it was also interesting to see that what we're seeing in the North Shore as a trend around prescription drug use isn't a North Shore trend, it's a national trend. And, and the, you know, to hear that the same things in Ottawa are what are here are happening in Ottawa schools are happening in West Vancouver schools, I think that was that was valuable tonight because that that that, that gave it a sense that this is something part of a much larger picture around this topic. Thank you, and again, thanks for your involvement in this. Uh, no surprise, West Van uh, Police Department involved in the community. Uh, your uniforms are well known around here, and uh, here you are, Glenn Marshall, uh, Constable. What did you think you heard this evening, and how did that connect to your work? Yeah, echoing a lot of what, what Chris said, you know, it's important to realize that this is an issue that we do face in our community. Um, you know, it, it is a, it's a national thing, but we need to act locally. You know. Uh, and that's what the West Vancouver Police is doing uh, in, in concert with you know, other police departments and mental health, uh, Vancouver Coastal Health, and knowing that what we're dealing with is what everybody's dealing with. So, you know, we all have our peace and we'll keep working towards it. Thank you. And we had a great keynote speaker this evening, Michelle Perron, CEO of the Canadian Centre on Substance Abuse. Uh, Michelle, you've been at this work for 12 years. You have an international profile and you were here from Ottawa to uh, lead a discussion about this issue. What did you hear from the community and uh, how does that connect to the work that you're doing on the national stage? Well, what I really enjoyed is the ability to connect what we are trying to build nationally here at the community level. And I'd echo uh, Chris's comments in terms of resources. So really our job uh, at the CCSA is to bring together all the key players that we need to have at the table on this issue, from prescribers to dentists to, to pharmacists to treatment uh, specialists to the uh, government folks and, and, and police and, and a variety of others. And they're all committed to doing this. We know that prescription drug misuse is a problem in the country. We know that we want to act on it together, and there's a significant uh, resource base that we can take advantage of. So the strategy will be a launch pad for all of us to look at it and say, how is it that I can be a part of it, whether I be federal government, provincial government, or any of the partners, and to engage with a, a wide variety of partners to make a difference for young people in the communities, to make a difference for the older people in the communities. This is something that's cutting across all segments of society. Well, thank you, uh, Chris and Glenn, and Michelle, you know, a song we heard growing up was Teach Your Children Well. Uh, you did a great job of teaching parents and children well tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.